Look at this. One of the pieces to cap off our, our Spoon S2K build, the quad tip N1 spoon exhaust. I have never in my life, except for in Japan, seen or heard one of these in person. I am so excited, look at this. So we're unboxing the exhaust right now. Welcome back to episode number four of the Spoon S2K build series. What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. In the last spoon update, you guys saw that we finished up the rear over fenders as well as the rear bumper. Now today, to cap off everything else that we've done in the rear, we're gonna continue in the rear of the car and actually do the rear diffuser which is in this box. But before we can get to that, we have to install the exhaust. And the exhaust is one of the rarest spoon exhaust that you can get from the S2000. So currently, I have the single exit N1 exhaust from Spoon. This one goes all the way back to the test pipe and has a massive, massive resonator right here. Well, if you look at this resonator versus this one, this is much, much smaller. But then again, we do have a quad mufflers, which is probably gonna quiet the exhaust a little bit more. But overall, I think the sound quality is just gonna be amazing and it's gonna set off the rear of the car. So we've probably done 800 exhaust installs on this channel. So we're just gonna time lapse this whole thing and knock it out for you guys so you guys can hear it. And it's just gonna be so amazing. Let's get to it. So since we're here, I wanted to show you guys that we just got a fresh shipment from Valvoline of their new formula, full synthetic oil. This is the 5W30, and we're actually putting this in the new car because we just went on a road trip. Thankfully, we got this new, newly formulated full synthetic from Valvoline. If you guys are curious about what the new formula kind of adds, their new formula has 40% better wear protection than the industry standard, helps more in the heat, as well as aids in keeping your motor running for longer. So we're gonna put this in the new car, and if you guys are curious about where you can get this, check the link in the description. I will have it all laid out for you. Quad exhaust is on and it looks freaking amazing. Now, you guys probably noticed that it's a little bit inside the bumper and it is actually supposed to do that. Once we actually get the diffuser on, it will have grooves that make it sit inside and make it look like it's supposed to be there and not so close inside the bumper, but it's completely bolted up and we're not turning it on. You guys have to wait till the end of the video to hear the exhaust, but I think it's gonna be amazing. We're about to use some brake cleaner, clean this exhaust up and start on the diffuser. on the list for today and this will actually complete this will actually complete our little series before we actually get the car wrapped because I am going to save the wing and the front splitter for a different day. I do want to get a little bit more track time before we put all the arrow on, but I did want to get this rear diffuser on and this is the last thing that we are going to go ahead and do. The full carbon fiber rear diffuser that will match up with the spoon bumper and the specific spoon exhaust. It's going to be a perfect addition and the perfect cap off to this entire build series. I am freaking hyped for this thing. Look at this. Let's mock it up real fast. Oh yeah, see it? The exhaust literally lines up perfectly in this diffuser. Oh my god, damn. Let's just get it on. Yeah, <laughs> All right, it is, by the way, it's like, uh, it's like 110 degrees in here, no big deal, but we finally figured out how to actually mount up the spoon rear diffuser. So this diffuser can be mounted up on the stock rear bumper. So I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of you are gonna have questions. If you have an S2K and if you're wondering how to actually install this rear diffuser, we figured it out. You have two brackets that will go into your rear, your rear frame assembly, one right here and one right here. And then you also have two brackets that go underneath your bumper, one right here that will mount inside and another one on the other side. And then these two brackets, if you guys don't already know, actually just reinforce your mounting point on the actual diffuser and you bolt everything up. It's actually pretty straightforward once you find where all the different bits and pieces go. So now that we have the exhaust on, everything is ready to go and be mounted up. Let's throw the diffuser on.
when we have the spoon rear diffuser on with the exhaust, this is just, it's, it's mind blowing. I just can't even believe it. It looks freaking incredible. So everything is mounted up. It's super, super solid. Everything is like, this thing is not going, oh, I'm pulling the car down. This thing is not gonna go anywhere. Now we're about to do the first startup with the new spoon exhaust and pull this thing outside because we do have to load this up and bring it to the wrap shop. Actually, I have a corner balance on this car before the wrap, but either way, we gotta pull this thing and roll it out. Let's go ahead and put the wheels back on. We're gonna put it on the ground and let's see how it looks. Oh my God, we are completely buttoned up. Wheels are back on. This thing is about to go down for the first time with the completed kit. I am just so happy right now. I'm in love with this diffuser. Oh, and I'm so stoked to hear the exhaust now. Okay, let's get to it. Oh my God. Dustin, I just like. You forgot your nut button. <laughs> I just can't even believe this is my car. Like what? Oh, Tim, I think it's time we start her up. from a new exhaust. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. The art of attack team that, think? That seems right though. Beat that ass, dude. This, this, <laughs> this does be wild. Yes, and of course, thank you to the guys at Art of Attack for letting me and Tim use their shop. Literally, for the whole entire spoon build, the entire S2000 build was done at Art of Attack. Art of Attack has a spoon kit in stock, in case you guys want to grab one. No wait time, right, Ken? Full, full kit, ready to go. <laughs> ready to ship. Oh, man. You wanna, no, I want to see this. You want to see it? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, Can't even be real. <laughs> Dude, this thing is so fun. <laughs> A lot of you seem to be pretty interested in my studio office setup and I have a couple of updates. I haven't given you guys the full house tour yet because we're still finishing up the flooring. I've been waiting to actually get the flooring done to do the house video, but it's coming very, very soon. I'll give you guys a tour of my entire office studio. But you guys know that I've been having tons of issues with my laptop, especially with crashing and corrupting my footage. And I needed a new laptop and I wanted to do something different. I'm actually working with MSI now and we have one of their brand new creator 
or 15 laptops and I'm about to unbox it for you guys. I haven't even seen this thing yet. I will put all the specs for the laptop on the screen right now so you guys can know exactly what I'm running. But usually I've always used Mac. Uh, I've never really been a PC guy ex except for when I'm gaming or streaming. But I wanted to go ahead and make the switch. There's just so many more options when running a PC, especially with my desktop. I'll be able to take this on the go with me to the shop when I'm traveling and take that footage that I use from this MSI laptop and throw it onto the desktop and it'll be very, very easy. So I thought we would do a little unboxing today and show you guys the computer that I got. And uh, one of the main reasons I opted for the MSI Creator 15 is the 4K 15 inch display screen. It's supposed to be really, really good. So we're gonna check this guy out here. Ooh, the packaging is super nice too. Okay, so I figured it'd probably be easier to actually unbox it right here like this so you guys can actually see what we're doing. Let's actually take our first look at it here. Unbox this guy. Okay, ooh, really nicely packaged here. I love it, it feels so sturdy. Okay, this is actually really, really nice. A lot smaller than I thought too. Open her up here. Look at this, very clean, very sleek. Let's actually take the plastic off here. Oh, that is the best feeling. Oh my gosh, okay. This thing is very, very sleek, very clean. I love the black finish on it. Damn, this thing is sick. Okay, let's go ahead and open her up, check, it, check out what she looks like. Oh my God, this is just so nice. Oh, I love the feeling of the keys too. Check it out. So like I said, the Creator 15 right here. Let's see. We do have an SD port right here, Thunderbolt mic, uh, and if you want to hardwire it to your router, you have that as well. This side, we do have a B. HDMI and another Thunderbolt port right here with the charging port right there. Tons of fans on this guy. This thing is actually sick. I love how it says Creator 15. If you guys can even see that right here. So nice. Gonna start her up for the first time. Okay guys, this is gonna be my official new editing setup and I am so excited. So I really have never used a PC for editing before, just here and there really, but I am super excited to actually get started. Look at how freaking detailed the screen is. Editing photos and editing videos on this is going to be insane. I can't give any reviews just yet. I'm gonna give it a couple of days, start editing a couple of videos on this new laptop and I'll come back to you guys with my updates here, but I am very, very excited. I've heard it's definitely a learning curve getting used to Windows stuff, but I'm actually very excited to hop into something new. By the looks of it, this thing is just so clean. Like I said, I'm gonna give you guys true first impressions once I actually get a couple of videos edited and start getting all of my software onto this computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this set up, but I wanna give a big thank you to MSI if you guys are curious and want to check out this computer for yourself, I'm going to go ahead and leave MSI down in the description box below their website, the exact computer that I have in case you guys want to check that out as well because I have a feeling that this is going to be pretty awesome and I'm already loving the look of it in my office. So let's get to it. All right, guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. I'm editing this video right now and I just realized I didn't do an outro, so this is gonna be the outro. So that was all the parts that we needed on the S2000 to complete the actual spoon build, except for the wing. Like I said in the video, we're waiting on the wing. We're waiting to do the wing until we do a front splitter because I don't want too much drag in the rear of the car. And I feel like another one or two track days could benefit me before I actually put aero on. So before we do the spoon wing, we're gonna do all of that. But the car is going to wrap now. So the next couple of videos you guys will see the car at wrap and this Friday is going to be the wrap reveal of the car. Not only are we revealing the wrap on the S2000, but we do have our Legend Circuit Team drop. You guys are not going to want to miss this. And if you want early access to this drop and to Legends Media, be sure to sign up for Legends VIP because you do get early access to all of the drops and tons of other benefits. And I will be releasing the new VIP t-shirt for this month very, very soon. So stay tuned to that. Like I said, wrap reveal on Friday and Legends Circuit Team drop this Friday. It's going to be amazing. I hope you guys are very excited. I cannot wait to show you the wrap. It's going to be insane. So once again, thank you guys. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because we are almost at 500k. We are literally less than 7,000 subscribers away from 500k. So be sure to tell everybody you know, come to the channel and subscribe because we have so much more awesome content coming to the channel. So once again, thank you guys and I'll see all of you in the next one. Peace out.